Alice Gray and welcome to another episode of Grey Matter, the series of science shorts that talks all things brain and cracks all things cranium. Have you ever seen anything so cute you want to squeeze it till it pops or pinch its chubby cheeks? Well you're not the only one. This phenomenon is called cuteness aggression, but why does it happen? Recognising something as cute is actually an evolutionary trait. Something with juvenile traits, such as larger eyes, a larger forehead, or a smaller nose, stimulate neural networks which make us want to care for and protect it. When you see something cute, the mesocortical limbic system is activated. This neural pathway connects two parts of the brain, called the ventral tegmental area and the nucleus accumbens, as well as projecting into the frontal cortex. The mesocortical limbic system releases dopamine, which is a chemical that is associated with feelings of happiness and reward. So when you see something cute, the mesocortical limbic system releases dopamine, and this gives you a good feeling. However, this neural network is also involved in aggressive tendencies. So it's thought that when you overstimulate the mesocortical limbic system, the good feelings of seeing something cute morph into aggression. But how likely are we to act on these impulses? Yale University were able to measure and quantify the experience of cuteness. They asked participants to look at cute, funny, and neutral pictures of animals, and rate how much it made them lose control. They found that the cuter the picture, the less control participants felt they had. Then they asked participants to pop bubbles in bubble wrap as they looked at the pictures. They found that 90% of participants popped significantly more bubbles when looking at cuter pictures, demonstrating increased aggression. So next time you see something cute, give a thought to your mesocortical limbic system and its role in cuteness aggression. And stay tuned for the next episode of Grey Matter.